When I do my benchmarking, I get asked, how are my 0.1% lows so good in a lot of different titles? And I attribute that to Windows 11 and not just any Windows 11 install, Windows 11 LTSC. Now today we're gonna be showing you guys how you can install this on your own PC as well as quickly tune it up and get it very similar to how I have it set up on my benchmark PC. So if you're playing games like Battlefield 6 or Ark Raiders or Fortnite or CS2, you can get smooth 0.1% lows or at least at the very least, know that it's not your PC's software like Microsoft Windows causing the stuttering. So first thing you need to do is get a USB stick and then install the Windows LTSC ISO on that USB. You can do this via using a program called Rufus and I'll put the links in the description below as well as showing you later in the video how you can activate Windows 11 LTSC for extremely cheap with today's video sponsor where they've got really inexpensive Windows LTSC keys. Though once you've got your USB bootable ready, make sure you have backed up your important files if you are reinstalling Windows, because once you reinstall Windows on your main SSD, you will lose all those files. And so yeah, back them up, it's very important. And let's go into how you can get this quickly installed, install it, and then we'll go on to the tuning. So after you've got that USB drive ready, you can put it in the back of the PC in an available USB port, hit the delete or the F2 key on your keyboard. And this will bring you into the BIOS screen here. And then we just go over to the tab, something that should be like a boot tab, somewhere it says boot. Every motherboard's different. But what you wanna make sure is here, you can just go select your boot drive and then you can make sure it's that drive that we just made. And then you can uh, like press enter and just select it, make sure it's selected. Press F10 on your keyboard, save changes and exit. And then we should be ready to boot in, do a fresh install of Windows. And that is the noises that you hear in the background is like some pretty crazy thunderstorm going on right now. So. Okay, so you should get to a screen like this and we just go here. I'm going to be in the bottom right hand corner of this whole video as well. Just guiding you guys through this thing. Just go next, next, and then we go install Windows 11. And I'm just going to agree to everything here. I'm just going to get rid of it all and just go next and then go, I don't have a product key. And then just go Windows uh, Enterprise LTSC. Any one of these is fine. If you just use that ISO we put in the description, I just use Windows Enterprise LTSC because the keys are actually the cheapest on this version of Windows 11. And by the time it runs out of support, there'll probably be like some new fancy version of Windows, hopefully Enterprise LTSC as well. And we just keep going next. And when we go through here, all we have to do is just really go through searching for disks. And what we're gonna do here is just delete all the partitions on disk zero though like it should match the size of your hard drive basically we see here this is a two terabyte drive so we're just deleting all those partitions and we are just going through them one by one and what this is going to do is make the drive all fresh again ready to install now of course make sure you have backed up all that juicy data on this drive that's the most important thing so disk zero I've just then got to go to next. And that's like, see, that's just a drive now, disk zero unallocated space. Just go to next. And then we should get to one more prompt screen here. And we just go to install. And then we install Windows 11. This will take a couple of minutes. And then we should be in a fresh screen, ready to tune Windows 11 Enterprise. It's that easy. So now we've just done a fresh install of Windows 11. You'll notice that it is pretty much almost bloat free from the get go, which is an amazing thing. But there's a few things that we can further do to help performance. So I'm gonna keep it a pretty bit, a little basic here. So just type down here system, left click on system here, and then we can go to advanced system settings. And this is just what I do to make Windows, especially because I, I sell quite a few PCs. I like to make the PC feel a lot snappier and more responsive too. So in this advanced tab here, after we clicked on advanced system settings, we can just left click on this settings right here. And what I do is just copy what I'm doing here and I just unselect quite a few of these things here and then left click apply and left click 
okay. And then just below that, startup and recovery, we can left click that and then uncheck the time to display list of operating systems, left click okay. Then system protection, we can see here that it's turned on by default. I personally never use system protection as I back up my own files externally to either a DAS, that's a direct attached storage, or just a, a USB a stick. I've got both of these methods to back up my data outside of the drive that the files that I need are on. So just a left click here, configure, and then I'd like to left click disable system protection, then left click delete. And the good thing about this is it also free up some space on your SSD. Now SSD storage is pretty expensive right now. So I'm gonna show you guys another trick to free up more SSD storage. So left click apply and then left click okay for that system um, protection taking that off there now left click on remote I like to left click advance first uncheck this box right here click OK left click the allow remote assistance connections computer left click apply anyhow that one is just something I've always turned off I don't think it's necessary for most people but left clicking OK here we can then go to the next set of tricks that we are going to do so now we're back to the desktop here we can then click on the search bar I just like to click power type power in and then go to choose a power plan left click that and then go to left click show additional plans here I like to left click high performance and then just go to change left click on change plan settings left click on change advanced power settings and then I just like to change this turn off hard disk uh, this after zero click apply and then go down to sleep as well as just extend these little plus symbols for slideshow left click that and go to pause because what it'll do otherwise it'll just cycle your backgrounds and it you know, can just chew up a little bit of system resources which is what something we don't want so going down to sleep here uh what we want is hibernate after make sure this is never which is a setting of zero and this is important for me personally because i'm going to do another step just after this and I'm gonna left click OK, and then I'm gonna go close this down, go down here and type in CMD, and then right click this and left click run as administrator, and then go to yes. And what I'm gonna type here is power CFG slash H, or spacebar dash H, and then spacebar off. And before I enter this in, I'm actually gonna show you guys what this does, especially if you've got 32 gigabytes of RAM on an SSD, or even 64 gigabytes, this is going to free up space. So we can see here, we got 1.76 uh, terabytes free. We hit enter on this command. We refresh this right here and we've freed up some space, right? There's freed up space now on our SSD just because we turned off the hibernation setting. Now that little trick we just did, it's reversible if you wanna turn on hibernation later and it will depend on how much RAM you have. The more RAM you have, the more SSD space that setting will use up when it's on. Now that we're on the desktop here, we can just left click on the Windows button and then type in here services. And then we just left click on that and it'll bring up a little tab here with all these different services. And what I do is I just left click on status and then left click again, go to running. And what this will do is it'll bring up all the running services, usually in alphabetical order. Now, what I do here is I double click on connected users, experiences and telemetry, and I left click that and I go to disabled. I left click stop and I click apply. And then I also go down to distributed link tracking client, double click this one and I go to disabled, stop, and then I left click apply. Now, the important thing about these two services, apparently GTA users, GTA 5 online users have reported a little problem with distributed uh, link tracking clients. So if you play GTA 5 and you come into some issues, maybe we should just put that on manual or re-enable it. So those two though, I found they just help, again, slightly increase a snappiness. But talking of latency, there is the final trick that we are going to do on this PC that opens up some advanced features in the power settings. And in particular, two of these settings can especially help with your 0.1% lows when you're gaming. So now this next one is involving us downloading a little program called Power Settings Explorer. I'll again, put the link for this program in the description below. And what we wanna do is open this program up and it should automatically then detect the power profile that you are using. If you're on balanced, it'll detect that. If you're on high performance, it'll detect that. And there's two uh, options we wanna uncheck here. One of those is performance idle time check. 
just make sure you find it's just actually my eyes have a hard time finding these two settings so i'm just going to put them up on the screen and then you check the hidden box to essentially unhide these options and then we can go down to our search bar here and type power again and then left click on this choose power plan and then go to change plan settings change advanced power settings and then right here if we go down to uh processor power management we'll then see we have these two options that we just unchecked they will now be visible now the maximum that you can set this to is i believe uh i think it's five thousand. i think off the top of my head it should actually say but yeah five thousand is the maximum we can set here and then down to the microseconds here i like to change this uh, the five just to a ten and those two settings will help especially this one right up here the processor performance time check uh, interval it'll essentially make it so that your pc microsoft isn't pinging your cpu so much before it's pinging it amplitudes more it's just pinging it less now to check on the processor's state and of course when it's pinging the cpu that's a potential stutter that could come up on your pc so after you change those two settings uh, then you just click left it click ok and pretty much after that your windows is smooth it's that easy to get windows 11 enterprise ltsc up and running and we'll go over to the big screen now because we can talk about some optional extras as well if you are looking to say copy what i do when i install a new pc for someone that i'd be selling a pc to so now we've finished tuning up windows with the basic core enhancements that i do to pretty much every pc that i tune here at tech s city you can then activate windows and this is where today's video sponsor comes in where they've got really inexpensive windows ltsc windows 11 ltsc keys and they even get cheaper after you use the coupon code bftyc now i'll put the links in the description below for today's video sponsor vip scd keys and essentially all you have to do is click the link and then get the key that you want they've also got heaps of other keys like office 2021 2024 2019 windows 10 ltsc especially iot which has got really long lifespan they've got windows 11 home and pro editions windows 11 iot as well which is a bit more expensive but does have extended support that is important if you just want to stay on this windows for a very long time anyhow what we got here is windows 11 ltsc the install it's done we just need to activate it so we get the product key we just go through the site they've got heaps of different payment options we pay for the key we then get the code and then we just go to our activation settings and we can just paste that code in and then go to activate and essentially it's done now of course you can get the key before you install windows when you're installing windows you can put it in then too the choice is yours i just personally like to see the activation process go ahead once windows is all installed and everything's up and running just so i don't come into any potential problems though if you do decide to get windows activated via this method i'll put the links as well as a coupon code bftyc where you can save a massive 30 percent off the price of the Windows 11 S LTSC key that we used in today's video, making it only 15 USD after you use that coupon code. So huge savings. I'll put the link in the description below. And let's get back now to the final elements of Windows 11 LTSC, the optional extras, uh, some of the complaints that people put in. That is, doesn't have the Microsoft Store installed by default, doesn't have Windows Photo Viewer installed by default as well. Two things which some people may definitely need, especially for me personally, I use Windows Photo Viewer. I think it's a lightweight, easy to use program. And so in this case, we'll start off with uh, the Microsoft Store, which is important, I think, for uh, Minecraft players. I actually flipped the PC the other day, had to install Minecraft, uh, Microsoft Store on the PC. And so what we did here was the easiest method I've found is to just download the Xbox app. And once we've got that installed, we don't even need an, a Microsoft account. Or if you have a Microsoft account, you can just deliberately put in the wrong password. And then after this, it'll give you the option to just browse the app. And so then you browse the app, you go to the top left-hand corner, you then go to settings, and then you have a tab in there that then has all the options to install things that you need and microsoft store is one of those and you can install that you can install some of the things that this version of windows just doesn't come with which for me personally is the beauty of it just comes de-bloated from the get-go with none of those extras installed but of course this is the easiest way to get the microsoft store installed as well as some of these other options that you see on the screen though next up 
and of course i'll put the microsoft app in the description below but the next thing we've got here is the uh, photo viewer this one's a little bit tricky because there's heaps of different methods out there there's heaps of different reg edits and stuff like that i personally just like to manually type in the bottom um, of the screen in the search bar reg edit enter and then i like to go to h key man i'm actually just going to check because it's just it boggles my mind so <laughs> i'm going to do this one live with you guys just to run you through it and what we've got here is h key local machine we then expand that we then go down to software we can expand that by left clicking on those little uh, weird arrows and then we go down to microsoft expand that again and then we go all the way down to a uh, windows photo viewer and we can expand that and then we go to capabilities expand that go down to file associations and here's where the business happens ladies and gentlemen and it'll have two already there by default which we can use to actually copy paste the value from and that's dot tiff and dot tiff and so what we do here is we right click we go to left click new left click a string value and then we can name all the files that we need windows photo viewer to open and i'll put these up on the screen for you guys the end result you can see here i've got dot gif i got dot ico dot jpeg dot jpeg dot png dot webp dot bmp bitmap and what we can do is then double click on our initial dot tiff for, in for instance and just copy paste control c that photo viewer dot file association dot tiff and we grab that and then we copy paste that into all these other keys that we have like dot jpeg and dot uh, jpeg dot gif and then we go to value data copy paste it there click ok and then once we've done all those we can close reg edit down and then just say for instance if you have a fresh install windows you can just download a jpeg or download a png file and go to open that and then select the option windows photo viewer and then always associate and then it'll make all those new reg edits behind the scenes and windows photo viewer will be back to life and so that's how you get windows photo viewer going on windows 11 ltsc iot enterprise as well as windows 10 windows 10 enterprise iot ltsc so that's the method that i use personally i've come into zero issues doing this method and i do recommend it to get windows photo viewer because it's a handy thing to have now the last thing is your browser choice uh, windows ltsc does come with edge by default and what you can do here is me personally i've i like edge i think it's a really good lightweight browser but nowadays i'm using opera gx that's incredibly good i do like a bit of you know when i'm browsing the net i do browse the web a lot i like my browser to be really customizable so opera gx is just awesome for so many different reasons as well as the ram limitations and you can set in all different limitations and things and so for me personally i've switched over to opera gx i've actually got a sponsor spot coming up for it and it's just that good i really enjoy it really nice uh piece of kit for browsing the web with you can do so much with it and yeah i'll put the link for the description below for that anyhow guys with all that aside hope you enjoyed the windows 11 enterprise tune-up basically from the get-go windows 11 ltsc is already de-bloated you don't need to go out and get all these windows 10 pro custom versions and all this stuff where people have just absolutely hacked the windows 11 pro windows 10 pro uh, sorry windows 10 home bases just they've hacked them so much that it's like when an update comes along especially a feature update comes along it can ruin that whole windows and just make a mess of it and so the beauty of ltsc is it doesn't really get a feature update and so it doesn't really ruin any of the tuning that we've done here today and so that's why i personally just recommend ltsc uh, windows the enterprise versions nowadays they're just that much better than the consumer versions at least for me personally and all the testing and all the gaming i've been doing so hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did be sure to hit that like button and if you have any questions or comments be sure to drop them down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can and with that aside i'll catch you in another tech video very soon peace out for now bye